Hello? Hello? All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. She's gonna fall over. Four, three, two, one. I, 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 I poop my pants. There would be a distinct smell in the Star Rail Express. After all those millennia, is this what your Relo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Huh. Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12 percent. Uh oh. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Uh, indefinitely? Why do we only have an inside head voice? <laughs> until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Hmm. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? Hell no! Straight headfirst into the abyss, dude! Go see Skirk and Tartaglossi, or whatever they are in this universe. If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. Hmm. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be... It's gotta be... The results of the preliminary analysis are here. Well... The anomaly stems from a stellar run. As always. Me? Oh, is it my fault? Did I fuck it up, dude? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Just <laughs> like the one that's been placed into your body. My bad. What exactly is a Stellaron? Can you explain that to me well? Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. Oh. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. That is true. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. Huh? What the he- Okay, listen. Well, big words, small brain. Uh, fix that. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urielo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Seeds, eh? So but like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights. <laughs> Jesus. March on like that. Cool, huh? Pretty cool. <laughs> I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective I'm down. is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again. High five! I'm I'm okay with this. I'm kinda <laughs> You're not coming? Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. That's true, actually, yeah. Don't count on Pom Pom getting lonely, dude. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Hmm. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. True. I, I actually, I like the way Himeko thinks, dude. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. True. A grand, cool adventure. Oh, in the withering, wintry night. Withering, huh? Withering, wintry night? Withering? Withering? Are you using that terminology? Withering? That's interesting, withering. Okay, Don Hong. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Yeah. By the way, don't you think Welt's hot, Don Hong? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. <laughs> You'll feel better once you get used to it. Okay. I feel fine. Hmm. So you have high compatibility with the Express. 
That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. Oh, it was a normal planet, huh? It was not a frozen planet to begin with. What was it? Uh, Walt says it was caused by a Stellaron. He said so? Yeah. Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. Hmm. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Okay, good to know. Um, Himeka wants you, me, and March 7th to go together. As I expected. What? Before you came, what? whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himeka would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. I'm there now. It's, it sound excited. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. Bro, I'm so cool. This will be fun. Uh... I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? Yes. I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Uh, it's not you so much as it's March. Yeah, but I'm the new factor here. He should be excited that there's a new factor. Did you talk to Don Hung? <laughs> How'd it go? Can you guess? He doesn't seem full of enthusiasm. Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? You bet. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Oh. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Interesting. This might actually be your home world. Can you imagine? To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. Bro, you shoot ice. <laughs> what do you mean? You are what? very icy. Is there something on my face? Yeah, it's a frown. Turn it upside down, Dunhung. Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> <sighs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. Oh my god! Let's go. I like March. All right. Here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. <laughs> now he smiles. Dude, he's so savage. Holy. Oh, what is this? Urelo 6. We're here. Holy shit. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. <laughs> I'm just going to say the same line. It really is one big snowball. Hey. <laughs> snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Uh, why didn't we land at the destination? Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? <laughs> or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. Oh, God. Uh... I said drop it. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. True. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh, he's got that <laughs> mysterious past thing going for him. Yeah, he's got something, you know? He's got something. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're going to regret it. Yeah, they're going to regret it. I'm just going to repeat everything she says. So how long does coffee hepatitis last? <laughs> Forever. Let's go. <laughs> Braving the unknown? 
That's the real spirit of trailblazing. Into the unknown. We're going into frozen, dude. I gotta see how much damage this does, dude. Okay. Wait. What is... What a strange object. object. It seems really out of place in the snow plains. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message to ask him. Hey, well, what's this? It's a calyx, a strange entity born from the phenomenon of space distortion. There are some reality data in the calyxes that might come in handy, but please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of these calyxes is still a mystery to us, and the danger within is incalculable. In your coming journey, you might come across other galaxies like this, and the reality data stored in different galaxies may vary, so look out for that. Reality data, huh? Defeat enemies to obtain general materials. Oh, it's ley lines! Hey, get out of there, or you'll shiver to death! Someone's in there? Hello? Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. When hear me? Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Wind. You're out. Man hiding in snow. My <gasps> fine fellow, was that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. I'll take a spearing. I'm just saying, dude, this guy looks sick. He is giving me Etho vibes. Well, yeah, himbo again, energy. How can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> oh, I like is him. Is Captain Jafard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Oh my god, that is such a weird... Dude, this description of him is so stupid, but it works. Ito plus Dory plus Saul Goodman. <laughs> Who? Saul Goodman. It's a character from Breaking Bad. He got his own series, March. Wait, you're not Ooh. Silver Main Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Sampo. I'm Brown Online. I like this guy a lot. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. Hmm. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Dude, this is sick. Like the bony, what do you call it? Like a uh, aesthetic, dude? I love this so much. Uh, What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. What? Huh? Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he, he actually does embody just himbo energy again. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. Um, why were you hiding in the snow? <laughs> me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermain guards were paying me a visit. No. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in the snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. I kind of, listen, hear me out. I kind of want to be imprisoned in one of these games. I want to be locked up and then have like a prison mission where you have to fight things on your way out to escape. I used to love those kind of missions in games, dude. Um, is there a settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Huh? Well, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. Bellabog? The way you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation. The towering citadel. Humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. 
The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Huh. I have no idea who these Silvermane Guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Interesting. Is that a bong? Y'all can't see that. Wait, is that a bong? What are y'all doing here, dude, in the snow? Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, mm -hmm. I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing Bro. your stock, <sighs> hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. Uh-huh. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. Bro, I know that I'm like gushing over practically every aspect of this game, but I have to just say it again. The the VAs and the, the character design, dude, the color palette, everything is so f just incredible. Like, we don't have a character that looks like this in Genshin. The vibrant blue hair with the blue and red color palette and stuff. Like, we don't have that. This is great. This is a breath of fresh air. It's, it's new and e easy on the eyes, but looks just so good. Oh, God, I love it, dude. Is he a four star or a five star? But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness it's gotta be five star, Zemper right? Kasky's middle name. Follow four? me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. No shot this himbo is a four-star character. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. <laughs> so where about you guys from anyway? Oh, no. I don't know. I pry or anything. I just care about my friend i'm from a train no i didn't expect to get as sucked in as i have dude this is a problem now <laughs> rule number seven never leave a footprint i have my own special technique called invisible snow walking helps me throw off pursuers in no time uh-oh who are they oh no uh, <gasps> the gods the silver main guards i mentioned that's them time to kill Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's okay, Sappo. I'll help you. The suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Now. Oh, you want to go? Power, never. Over to you, dear friends. Jesus. Goodbye, old friend. Dead. Absolutely dead, dude. <gasps> That's Gepard or Jepard. Oh my god, it looks so cool. <laughs> Paladin vibes, dude. I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Hey! That's cheating! That Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. On my command! Siege them! For glory! Hey! This is cheating, dude! Die! That's some good damage. Holy, dude. Yeah, I could just do this. Easy, dude. Mask, I think it's three months. I appreciate it. Ow. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? That hurt. Japon, that hurt. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Wait, he ran away? <laughs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Bro, I guarantee you he's hiding in the snow again. You might be waiting longer than you think. As in forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. 
Did you see how fast he ditched us? Uh huh. We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his? Okay, maybe maybe don't don't call the big guy who did a lot of damage to us dumb though. I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. Am I going to jail? But we're not from Bellabog. Take a look at our clothes. Oh, show me the photos, March. Yeah. Photos? Yeah, photographs. Oh, you're a genius. Great idea. I know. Oh, God. You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me sad. Not laugh because it's your home planet and I, I don't think it looks good. It's covered in ice now. Everybody died. You mean to say that this white ball that's here? Yeah. That's our home? Yeah. How can that? I don't know. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Hmm. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Interesting. Okay. I'll follow, dude. Hey, you didn't have to even explain it. You're, you're... Welcome to Bellabog. Cool. The city of preservation. Wait, where's the... Where's, where's the city, though? Oh. Oh, I was... I... Jesus Christ, that's massive. Oh, that's the place of the trailer. I haven't seen this place. Oh, dude, this looks sick. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. Hell yeah, it does. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean, hum? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth. Oh, Jesus Christ. With raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. Again? Why is it always setting things ablaze and disasters in cities setting it on fire hundreds of years ago? 507, doesn't matter, dude. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. Should I use my first summons on the beginner banner or the Zilla banner? Uh, they're different wishes, I'm pretty certain, for each banner. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but you can use the Zilla wishes on the Zilla banner and you get other uh, wishes for the beginner, so you should be good. You can use both. The steadfast architects built this city. Hell yeah. Under the protection of Klipoth, the preservation. Ooh, the Aeon. Forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. That's the one that we saw inside of the, uh, the simulation we went into. He sure saying some weird stuff. Remarked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. Hmm. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. <laughs> How big's your uh, uh army? Uh <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna know. Why did you stutter? Ah, uh, you know, couldn't think of the word army, uh Another word for army. I don't know. Um. Okay, that was pretty far. Creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. <laughs> a fragmentum, correct? How do you? Oh. That's right. <laughs> Japan. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. Japan, come back. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. But I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. He's a wanker anyway. We're lacking in intel. 
Jesus Christ. So rude, dude. The kid idolizes you. Say hello at least. God damn it. Okay. What was that bang? Uh oh. We're here. The stairs? This is Klepoth Fort. Hmm. The heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Kilpoth Fort? Yeah. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Mm hmm. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog. Thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. Interesting. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. Jesus. Oh my god, the steampunk-esque stuff, dude. Not even steampunk, just mechanical. What the, the hell? The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Oh, dear God. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Of course she does, dude. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Uh, can I tag along? Let's not waste time. Uh, no one will notice. Ah! Uh, how could you? I've dispatched a messenger to send okay. word. Madam Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. I'm down. Guess if she appeared in Honkai Impact Third. Oh, she did That's indeed. Sacrifice. <gasps> Ronya! Oh my lordy, hello. <clears throat> you may leave, Bronya. Visitors have arrived. Oh, she has the similar symbol to the other chick, Servile. <sighs> oh, I'm Bronya. Oh, this must be the bark. Oh, I see. Okay, yes, okay, okay. Mother. Mother. Oh, this just got Madam even weirder. Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. Oh, this this just got weird. Okay. The messenger informed me. Well done, Japard. You may leave. Goodbye, Japard. Please come to me in summons, Welcome, though. You're kind of cool. Visitors from beyond the eternal freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky. No? Yes. <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand. Bellabog Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Uh, well, you see, the character designs are just really good. You don't believe we come for this guy? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember hmm. the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. Wow, okay. We also came to know of Klepoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. Jesus. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Oh my god, it is like Celestia stuff, dude. Ever since the catastrophe, no more communica- Dude! <laughs> We've come to trailblaze this planet. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? Actually, no, and now you mention it, it could sound very intimidating. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Yeah. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Mm-hmm. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? I think that's right. Correct. 
Okay. The Stellarons were cast by the Aeon of Destruction. Fragmentums are a product of the Stellaron. Yes, indeed they are, Chant. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. So maybe the Stellarons are kind of like the Celestial Nails in Genshin then. If there's a Stellaron in each world, aka each nation, and it's the seed to give birth to Fragmentums, which cause the problems in the area disrupting the ley lines and stuff, I imagine either Fragmentums or Stellarons are like nails from Genshin, or at least they do something similar. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants. Lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Hmm. <laughs> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you Bro, speak of. Bro, the ice. Some of which prove so vexatious sick. to us even today. But why should you care? My god, didn't Nails turn out to be good in Genshin? Definitely not, no. We, we we don't know much about them, but I wouldn't say we know if they're inherently good or bad, but I would assume bad since it's Celestia hammering it home. Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. You'd be surprised. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Um, please let us, oh, help us locate the Stellaron. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. Yeah, so basically, I eat it. We have the relevant means. <laughs> and I poop it out later. Very well. I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellavog has waited 700 years for. Oh. I'm willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Uh, that looks so creepy, dude. Her hair bubble thing here, chat, is breathing. It's breathing. Look at it. If you look at the shadows here, you can see as well. It's breathing. It shrinks and then gets bigger and shrinks and then gets bigger. Oh, that's creepy, dude. It's getting late and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Okay, I'm down. Uh, thank you, Supreme Guardian. Appreciate you. It should be me thanking you. Visitors from beyond the sky. True, but you're very intimidating. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. It's fine. It's all good. Gagolia. Oh. What the hell was that noise? Evil. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. Oh! I have a way. I may already have an inkling here. Um. It oh, seems dude. That the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I want him. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Hmm. She's an impressive figure. She's the big shot. Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. Mm hmm <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. Had <laughs> duty. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. It's fine, you're coming back in five minutes when I pull you from the banner. Uh, wait, can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. Hmm. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, God. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel... I love how everything loads in. The alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. 
Why? It started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. I've been in one of these. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we Trash speak. can! I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. See what you all keep talking about with these goddamn trash cans, did? A trash can, not remarkable in any way. You've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. What do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. From under the lid comes out a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. Wait, March, what? You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you've reached deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap on the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. That urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back when you've walked down this path. What? Well, that was interesting. I do like that. Funny little tidbits. There's a survey with rewards. Interesting. Uh, wow, Mag, thank you for the 100 bitties. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. Yeah, there's no co-op. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Oh, this is cool. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Sure. Ugh, children. <laughs> uh. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. Pelageya Sergeyevna. But you can call me Pela. Pela, I like that. Yes, Miss Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children. Bitch. Okay, guys, take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopot. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Balabog. Nice. Preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? No, screw you. You call me a child. Try and refrain from uh, telling me about the, the, the random cool things, though, just because I want to bump into them myself and experience them rather than be told, go do this. This is cool, you know? Like, bump into that trash can, it'd be so much funnier if I just randomly bumped into it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? Yes. I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity... Can I just go help him? ...down by now. Move back. This is your final warning. But... But my proof of property is inside. Oh I my god. Any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. Oh, God. I can't believe fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Can we help fight it back? Can soldiers really hold back the fragmentum? No. As long as the Stellaron is active, the corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand. Sir. Mm. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. I get We're it, just dude. Here for your safety. They're clearly just looking out for him, but it's it's hard. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way. Oh god, Let dude. Me pass. <sighs> yeah. You're gonna have to go ham, dude. Can I get one over? Oh, 
It's this, uh, oh, we get to meet someone here, I think Never he said. Winter workshop. Yeah. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Sometimes you're insufferable, Dunhung. Sometimes being the operative word and insufferable. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? I see a trash it's can. So weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Oh, I wonder if it's because for the people that are getting evicted from the houses, they can't rehome them, so they gotta put heaters out so they stay warm outside. Is this how they repel the eternal freeze? Maybe they have indoor heaters too. Maybe, but the ones outside just seem like a waste of energy. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe this is how the architects repel the eternal freeze. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. Who? <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say <gasps> about that broken heater. Oh, it's her! It's, uh, it's Servile! Oh, wow, she's cool! God, yeah, she is. Hi, hello! <laughs> Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Hi. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. I got a broken heart. You wanna, 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 and a broken voice box apparently. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. Oh. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Uh, we only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here? Yeah, I'm from another world. Isn't that super interesting, Silva? So interesting that you want to get to know me more? Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders have met with Cocolia. <laughs> you must be them? Yes. What an honor. Where are my manners? She got the arc on her, dude. All day if you like. Let's have a chat. My god. Yeah, she got the arc on her. The glows at the bottom, dude. That's like... If she was in Genshin... Boost was saying this yesterday. She'd be a five-star character if she was in Genshin, dude. Easily. Oh, sorry. I shot your toolbox. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. Mm. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Understandable. Um, above and beneath? If you didn't know, Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Interesting. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Uh, what? Why? Pretend I never said anything. Why is it secret? Top secret? Uh-oh. Uh, what is Geomaro? It's an ore. A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomaro. Oh, damn. That's, that's kind of bad, because what if it goes away? Geomaro grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Hmm. Why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Well, no, it doesn't. What does she mean? I'm stupid. <laughs> no sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, okay. seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Well, hell yeah. Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. I'm down. Sure, we're not busy. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Wait, what do I have to do here? Puzzle? Oh my god, wait. Actually, fun puzzles as soon as we start the game. Okay, so there, there, there. Puzzles! Hell yeah, dude. They should have a time limit. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Oh, yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Fuck. Well, I'd better carry on here. 
Why not have a better look around? Did I just get fired? My workshop. Oops. That, did, she, did she just fire me, dude? What's the hotel called in Mondstadt? Goff? Interesting. And this one's called Gweth. G-O-E-T-H-E. Hmm. So tired. Hmm. I'm tired too. Oh. Chest! Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Oh, hell yeah. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. Hell yeah. Hopefully not bricks. March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop. I know what you're going to say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Oh. And meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. <laughs> I mean, but true. Check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. You know what? She's not wrong. That's not what I was going to say. Oh. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klipoth Fort, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. Oh, God. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. So did you notice anything? I knew there was something up with her. Something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. That's interesting. Hmm. I have a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. It's kind of creepy. It must have been the invisible man. <laughs> Don't well, scare Mark. there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. Hmm. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. We'll see. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Okay, let's go. My hotel now, bitches. Is there anything left to do? Sleep. We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It's bedtime. Uh, that's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, sleep well, guys. I got up. Did someone mention a pillow fight? <laughs> yeah, about time. <laughs> Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense hey. the next few days could be tiring. <laughs> you weren't invited, dang. <laughs> well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I get my own room, dude. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. <laughs> It is, based on all the signals coming in your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute. Scent? How is scent a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter. Smells good. And it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it's a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that all you want to do is get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. What? <laughs> First trash cans and now closet? Whatever, I'm going in. Here I come, closet. Yes, you're about to go in. Left foot, right foot, turn around, take a deep breath. Darn it, why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but you manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang! Congratulations, you've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm, this place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you'll eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. What? Ah, that's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? A sound is closing in. Click, click. The real deal is coming? 
That's exactly right. Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose footsteps are those? <laughs> the Goeth Hotel's devil. Yes, yes. Now you finally get it. That's the Goeth Hotel's resident devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. It pit the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you were the universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the Herta space station, the doomsday beasts, uh, doom. Yep, today's the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service, is anyone there? Ha, there it is. All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built in Kilporth. You were prepared. Uh, I'm gonna come in now, okay? Meet your judgment. Die, you hotel devil! Ah, what the heck? You won! The hotel devil's now banished and the land is now purified. Uh, that devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as a reward for your intrepid intrepidity. What? In this grand universe, moral standards are materialized in a physical form. Thumbs up approvals aren't a rare sight to behold. What matters is that you are recognized. What the fuck was that? Somebody mentioned this the other day, and I, I, I mentioned it to Boost, but I don't think I mentioned it um, on stream. Do you want to know what I love about the dialogue of this game chat more than anything? From the dialogue that I got to test out previously for a couple of the ads that I did in one of the side quests, which we might get to today because I think it's on this planet, and from the stuff that we've seen today, dude, they're so self-aware. Dude, they're so self-aware. The characters are self-aware. It makes us self-aware. It feels like the devs were self-aware when writing it. It's so funny. It does remind me of Stanley Parable a bit. Yeah, it's great. It's comedic, but not in a forced way. It's just good, dude. But yeah, it's great. The characters are unhinged. I, I love it. I think it's great. Cocolia! Cocolia! Oh, Jesus Christ. Who are you? What are you? Teenage Cocolia. Oh God. Hello? I can't open the closet. Surely that knock's coming from the closet, right? No, who's out there? Found your weakness. Who is it? Who'd I kill? Did oh. you hear that? It was, yeah, that was me. Sorry, I, sh I shot. There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance. And I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Yeah, I feel that. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is the helmets. You can't always be friendly on the job, you know? Maybe they're not here to escort us. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. I see a book, though, Dunhung. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't take me away. No, hey, I... Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Shut the fuck up. You took my book away. Are we in a lot of trouble? I'm pissed. Oh god. It's you. Bronya. There at the fort. I am Bronya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. Her earrings are so cool. The Amber Lord in the highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Excuse me, bitch. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. No, I think I'll resist. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Hmm. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because <laughs> you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, 
I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And got one. Yeah. On, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Ah, interesting. March. Be ready to make an escape. <laughs> that face did. <laughs> huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. <laughs> uh, it's now or never. Go. Three of a kind. Uh, what? Shh. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Royal flush. Two pair. Oh. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace of spades. Ace. Ah! Or just ace, I guess. Oh, shit. Good one. I like that. Have an ice day. Bye, Bronya. Bye. What was her name again? Oh, no. I can't say the short version. She called me a kid. Pella? No, it's not Pella because she shouted at me for calling her Pella and I acted like a child. Pella, Pella Borch? I don't know, dude. I forget. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Mm. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> oh, God. The Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed-off area. You're running through? I'm a yes, ma'am. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. I'm trying not to use the skip function, Directed but... Uh... all threats to Bellabog security. What I must do. Oh, the autoplay function, sorry. Oh, Jesus, Bronya. Okay. She kind of badass, dude. Hello? Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. <gasps> Freedom! There's one of those big things that we saw that in the space station. Right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Oh, uh, that was too risky. Oh, please. It's the result that counts. Gotta take risks sometimes if you want to succeed. True. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Hm. Oh God, Let's dude. The path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Jesus, ever winter night. Uh oh, that's a big chest, dude. Oh my God, that's a big chest. So what happened back there? Okay, I need How that big chest. <gasps> to arrest us? A little chest. Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ah, uh, the cheek. Ooh, big chest. 20? Do I have this already? No, 20 wishes, dude. That's pretty sick. We'll take that. Oh. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. Oh, God. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Okay, so we can't have conflict with them, but we can kill the big flaming demon overlords, dude. Oh, make it make sense, chat. Make it make sense. I, I, I'm just saying, dude. It doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. Hmm. We saw one in Serval's workshop. <gasps> Ooh, puzzle. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Wait, they did add timers to them? No. Okay, that's fine, though. So it starts from this one. That means we do this, 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 this. God damn it. I want really hard ones of those. If I had to choose a character to get off of here, it would probably be Japod, Welt, Bronya, or Himeko. Not Yanchen, Clara, or Bailu. But I will say, I'm okay with any character on this banner. I, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with anyone, dude. I'm perfectly fine with any. I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. <gasps> this guy. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Oh, I'll deal with it. <laughs> a gift from the stars. My turn. Watch this. Wait, the f the 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 item buffs actually. You couldn't have done it without me. Go hard, dude. Yeah, this is going to be a perfect game to play alongside Genshin. I'm actually so happy about that, dude. It's going to be nice to hopefully have something extra. Because I loved him in the longer streams, but sometimes Genshin just don't have the content, you know? What are you feeding your Dan Heng? My... Um... Uh... 
whatever that food was the thing that i ate it was pretty cool oh dude i keep forgetting about this i can i can use these to recover health dude i'm so stupid i didn't have travel at e to be able to heal that's that's why i was panicking uh oh Yeah. Oh, you dare underestimate what? me. <laughs> okay, dude. Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. No. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Agreed. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. Can you arrest me without telling me what you arrested me for, though? <laughs> I feel like that's not the right way to do things. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? Mm hmm The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Why would we want to do that? Uh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. <laughs> Throw down your arms and surrender. Bronya, she's a bitch, dude. Come on. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time oh, to give them a taste of huh? Astral Express medicine. Mm? I'm gonna fight Bronya? Oh. Never mind, this is easy. Dead! Nice! Oh, <laughs> oh God. Lady Bronya. Please. Oh God. Yo, she got a gun. That's not fair. That's cheating, dude. Ow, that's cheating. So you're said that normal attack does more shield damage here than the E. Oh, you're bright. Interesting. Okay. Jesus Christ. That was a lot. My God. Like, she's dead now. We're done hung. The oh. truth of life and death. Ah! Lament. It's but a vision. <laughs> One per... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say. Sheesh. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung. Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? Ah. Uh? You first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Secret strength. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Sampo, uh, wait, my man. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I have one thing to say. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> Yo! I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. He's literally Ito. I'ma say what I do, baby, 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 Suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. Yeah, idiot. It is not that thing's voice is not nice but this art is beautiful what about the underworlders they will lose the protection of the architects they will see me as a tyrant mm. oh That's a cool voice, dude. I understand. 
Jesus. On, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Wait, is that Gun Girl? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Is that the Sounds healer chat? Nightmare. Healer Gun Girl? Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld Girl? Nothing. What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. <laughs> I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. <laughs> what? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. Oh, God. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? Yeah. If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. It is kind of odd. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine <laughs> folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. True. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground. <laughs> oh no. Come on, accidents happen. <laughs> I'll have them rounded up in no time. Yeah. Girl, get her back as soon as possible. Then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, hmm. what would Wildfire do with her? Murder. What would they do with you? Laugh. All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. I like him, dude. I like Sample. I do. I can't lie, dude. Hey, sleepyhead. Hey. Looks like you're awake. Oh, hey, Lisa. That was very Lisa-esque, dude. Okay. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Nope. Feel much better. Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some... Strange things. Was I talking about him echoing my well, sleep? Now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I know this is Rosaria's I'm VA. A doctor, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. A day? This is your clinic? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid the conditions underground are terrible. People get sick easily here, and I'm the only doctor. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. Jesus. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Yeah, for sure. Where are my They've friends? Been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Oh God. Your rowdier friend took <laughs> off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Uh, who is the Sampo anyway? Yeah, I need to know, dude. Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Mm. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him. And Interesting. Been a big help to wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Uh, wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. That makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. Heal this. I gotta find March seventh and Dan Hung. But where should I start? Probably not in this room. Uh, she reminds you so much of female Blythe from Fire Emblem Three Houses. I never played a Fire Emblem game. Oh, cutscene. I like this place, dude. This city feels alive. Like, very alive. Who's your husband? <laughs> uh, men, have a good night or day. Sleep well or don't. Depending on what time it is for you. <laughs> oh, this is cool. We're in the underground. Yeah, this is sick. 
Oh, it's the little Klee, dude. Two trash cans stood tightly side by side as if no force in the world could separate them. The dumpster remains silent. This hunk of junk gazes gently at you. A scientist once said when a dumpster is shut tight, it exists in a super superposition of states where it is both devoid of trash and full of trash at the same time. You vaguely recall a television series where a lawyer hid inside a dumpster such as this and waited for an incriminating piece of evidence to appear out of thin air. Wait, is that a Better Call Saul reference? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh my god. So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yeah. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? Hook is terrifying. <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. Yeah, I know, Simone. Hook is in an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. <laughs> yeah, never. Never. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's settled then. Well, shit. Okay, let's play. Huh? You. Uh, oh. When did you get here? Right now. Uh, does it matter? Uh, this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. Okay. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped <laughs> into these kids. They say they know where he is. Oh, they <laughs> did they do the whole, if you beat me in hide and seek, I'll tell you? But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. <laughs> And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide and seek. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, yeah, somehow. I get it. Need a teammate? <laughs> huh. The underworld, yeah. Being so nice? Got past this part of the level lot? Oh, no. Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. <laughs> this kid did. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um. Yeah. Sure. I guess so. Then. Time to play hide, hide and, and seek, seek, chat. Can you imagine if I, we played hide and seek? Us. All of we you guys hide, I seek. Very smart. Why what? don't we do a practice one first? I'm smart, you little shit. Hmm. You're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. Okay. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So you kids think you're better than us, huh? Mm. Just you wait and see. It's okay. Simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Hello, I'm looking for a child. These kids, bro. Yeah, the kids are. Oh, a chest. Um. Oh. Ha, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, big dum dum. I found him. I saw the chest first. I got distracted, but it's fine. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. <laughs> now we're playing for real. You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheating. 47. 50. 48. 49. 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I gotta find three children here. Well... You can answer this question. Yes, it does. Fine. What? But we caught you. What's with the QA? Ask me the question. Uh, I thought I had you there. I would have answered the question, dude. And then if I'd have got it wrong, I would have. Uh... Huh? Oh my god, what is this, dude? This dumpster evokes a special emotion in you. Unrelated to its location, appearance, and olfactory triggers, it is a sense of hiding from the world as well as a hint of pre natural preternatural coziness a wrinkly piece of paper is stuck on the lid of the dumpster with the number 81 on it scribble the paper you change the number on this paper to an 84 you may have done this out of no reason but you have a feeling that this had changed many things a package will be forever lost in the underground an iron bottle will fall someone will cry what <laughs> This is merely your feeling, which does not represent reality, but you do feel a little uneasy because of your tiny prank. Regrettably, you cannot witness the consequences. What? <laughs> what just happened? The dumpster is shining. Someone threw three pieces of Geomaro in it. The person threw it so heavily that shards of ore scattered all over the trash can. You have no idea where the anger of that person stems from. Neither can you understand this behavior. After all, Geomaro is as valuable as gold in the underground. Would you throw money even in a fit of anger? 
Um, of course. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Okay, yo, any annoying kids? Oh, there you are, you little shit. Don't run. Wow. Not you, Hook. It's not fair. Ma I'm the boss of the moles. Ma How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Ma Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are okay. you feeding you kids <laughs> down here? I have a gun. <laughs> I have a cannon, dude. You sure? Hmm, something's not right. What? That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. Oh, it was an achievement. Nice. Well, I got it. Hello? Hmm. Seemingly adult man. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. Hello, but... welcome in. It's him, no doubt. <laughs> Nonsense. <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? What? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? Is he Dottore? Explain yourself. You fucking creep. No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. Literally, how did he do that? Wait, does it not explain? I... <sighs> I'm sorry, boss. I failed. I... What? Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? I don't... What villainy is this? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Uh, you sure did. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? I'm so confused. Why would you want them to explain the magic trick? Because that ain't no magic trick. That's literal magic. Um, yes. The boss of the moles <laughs> is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. Fight Club, Fight Pog. Club. Uh, I thought the first rule was <laughs> an actual Fight Club reference. You don't talk about it. Is this more secret <laughs> talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. I'm gonna step on this kid. Come with Hook. I'll take you over. Thanks. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Uh, uh, uh. Shorten my title. <laughs> I'm a club just for fighting. You're so cringe. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Jesus Christ, oh, dude. It's awesome. Oh, a chest. You take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Oh, a trash can. Loads of kids take part. <laughs> ah, despicable. <laughs> My criminal activity senses are tingling. Hey, wait a minute, Hook. You see a pitiful trash can made of tin with a torso clearly dented from trauma. It seems like someone took their pent-up emotions out on it while passing by. Aw, poor trash can. We're here. This is it. Uh, Hook's gonna go fight. See you later. What? Uh, who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge. That's who. Uh, but only the kids. Yo, chat. <laughs> I forgot we have that evil dude pet the trash can. <laughs> so the moles control this whole area. Um, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Ah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Freeze. <laughs> You'd be dead, dude. Oh my god. That was loud snoring. That was very loud. Brothers very loud. And sisters, are you ready for today's most spectacular spine tingling, earth shattering contest? Hell yeah, brother. On one side, recommended by tall, what? blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young. And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, <laughs> incendiary, ex explosive might of team robomatic 
all praise to boss what is this dude boss varog given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of team robomatic cold dragon young will face off against these opponents alone on learning his fate the brave young fighter had one thing to say whatever and so <laughs> Let the semifinals of the he West does look kind of done with it all, doesn't he? Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! Wait, help? he doesn't need help, did? Brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events. Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. Okay, I guess he it does. Looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young. <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. True. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters. He actually does give me Diluc vibes, back. dude. Diluc and Zhao. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. You've literally got a kid that wants to fight you. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so God. are we. Please it's be the easy. Iron of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the iron skin <laughs> of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. In a fight, right? Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. In a fight, right? Destroy them all! Oh god, here we go. Here we go, dude. Oh, it's just three little dudes. Oh, this is gonna be easy as shit, dude. Oh. You have Oh night. What? That <laughs> That's just silly, dude. <laughs> Wait, that's it? Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious. That was so easy, dude. Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? True. Uh, Cold Dragon Younger and Cold Dragon Youngest. <laughs> Forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Okay, Paimon. Hey, look, it's Sampo. Hey, come back. You little shit. Uh, we've got an explanation to demand. Let's get after him. Yeah, I do like him. I don't. I don't think uh, he's a bad guy, but I am very curious. Sampo. Oh, a chest. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, it's you. I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? <laughs> Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And yeah. Anywho. If I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Save it. You <laughs> yeah. saw us in there and got scared. So you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends, what do I have to fear? Oh, I don't know, Surely dude. I haven't done anything to offend you. Like, that's basically like someone shivering their tits off in a corner wrapped in blankets going, I'm not cold. Shut the fuck up, dude. You set down, hang up. Set him up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a job. You guys are new here. And let me tell you, you're going to need some cash. And oh, God. Kosky stops at nothing to help his friends. Saving you was just the beginning. I have to consider your finances, too. With me... You get the full service, folks. Oh my god, That's dude. Friendship. It is Ito Dorian Soul Goodman. It actually is. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Better call Sampo. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? True. Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. 
But there's more to our friend here yeah, than meets the eye. I do get that from him too, especially with his outfit. I don't know, there's something that's not adding up. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, mm. I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Why should we get to the Wildfire? Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a... What's the word? Stellaron. Stellaron. Yep. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be wildfire. Uh, you said I mean, I'd that's fair. a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Mm, lead the way and don't try pulling anything this time. Have a little faith. I made you yawn. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> Zampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. I don't trust that for some reason. I don't know. This so, guy. What does Wildfire do all day? By everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I kind of trust him, but at the same time, I don't. Okay, let's at least go for a full star then, right? Let's at least go for a full star here. We'll go for a full star, dude. Nice. Give me something good. Give me the fox lady. Fox girl. Oh, no. I don't want Huck, dude. <laughs> Huck's annoying. I don't want Huck. It's fine, though. It's fine. Hey, it's fine. We'll vibe with it. The smell box is tucked away in the corner. Try not to be noticed. Better not disturb it. You get the sense that even the most sociable person would need some personal space, let alone a mailbox. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love this game. Holy huh. shit. Where's Joshua? Well, hello there, Sampo. My fave did. Shiny rocks? Call Apis. Surely. Oh, no, ah, this is Geomero. Geomero. Exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. Ah. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen <laughs> to death long ago. Where are the boomers? <laughs> Get it? All right, let's keep moving. Person I was looking for isn't here. Okay. Well, I saw a trash can. Game time. Guess how many trash cans are there in Bellabog? Atte oh, God. Attention. Trash cans put side by side together are considered as one, but those that you see can see but cannot be reached do not count. I'm going to guess 21 because it's a multiple of three and a multiple of seven, and those numbers usually matter. Nice answer. Honestly, it is uncertain if your answer is correct. This is the underworld, after all. This trash cat has not seen its overworld relatives in a long time. You know what? Here comes a question with a definite answer. How many trash cans are there in this town? The rules are the same. Cylindrical. I'm going to get seven again. This is the wrong answer. Fuck! Who will count the number of existing trash cans? So let's stop this game right now. How many was it? Dude, it was five. Fuck. This old dumpster sounds silently carrying its own resolute gravitas that reminds you of an elder of vast wisdom. It stood on the side of the street for years, witnessing its rise and fall. I pay respects to it. Great, I will open it. <laughs> uh, I pay respects. You bow, elder dumpster, to which it responds with a deep dignity. It almost feels like it's the size of two dumpsters. <laughs> I got sanctity of the trash. <laughs> Wait, fucking what, dude? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this game is been? such a joke, dude. It's such a fucking joke. I love it. Oh, My God. Old Oleg isn't here either. Oh, this looks so Where cool, dude. <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? Pretty much. I wouldn't dare. Trust me. We're getting close. <laughs> okay, dude. Probably in this uh, big thing. What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. Oh. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? The Fire Nation attacked. It's a long story. In any case, 
Practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Excuse me? Oh, come on. My dear fellow, I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Huh? I am not moving down, up and down on you, Sampo. Not today, not tomorrow, maybe tonight. Jesus Christ. You fucking himbo. <gasps> oh, no. Hey, look. Who is that? Is that Bronya? That is Bronya. It looks like she's in trouble. Good. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. True. Uh, we should avoid attracting too much attention. But we can't just leave her. Wait, but why not? Oh, Sampo's right. We can't just stand here. Just, uh... Seventh is right. Does anyone have popcorn? <laughs> uh, I was kidding. Uh, and get your own opinion. Hey, bitch! But I agree with Don Hung. We can't just leave her to the bullies. Well said. The young lady is wise and righteous. Shut up, Sampo. You're hot and himble. Let's help her. Fine. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. Ah! Uh... Sila! You dare attack someone on our turf? Oh my God! Well, how about a few rounds with me? Happily, let's do this. Oh, darn it. No, Quick, I wanted to use you in battle, dude. Spineless thugs. Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These God damn it. have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. <laughs> Shut it, Sampo. <laughs> this is you written all over it. <laughs> wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. True. I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the Underworld a visit. Is that you? Probably. You kidnapped me and brought me to the Underground. What is the meaning of this? To see us, of course, your besties, dude. <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Oh my god, Bronya's a passenger princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the Underworlders? The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy. Uh -huh. Defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. Bro, you're busy making false accusations against new people that arrived in town yesterday as honored guests. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the Underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface. You're right, yeah. The only passageway. So, protecting the so-called architects, more like it. I did notice this when we first entered this place and, and we were told about the overground and underground. This is very, and I mean very arcane, dude. Like, incredibly arcane. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it 100% is. Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Zila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Look huh. for a few more? Oh, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. Fully booked. <laughs> Who are they? Uh... I'm a friend. I am Oleg's guest. You know the chief then why don't i know you because i lied well it's like this the chief's in the market for specific talent an urgent request so i'm taking them to see him we're looking for a stellaron it's the source of all the disasters here if we find it we can <laughs> oh god i would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet well miss Zila won't understand it anyway so Let's save it for the chief. Huh? Not the himbo calling Zila dumb. You're right. I don't understand it. Oh. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The chief's busy. If you really want the to fuck? find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. Bye. 
Trailblaze Guide. Complete ambitious, clear red galaxies, and try not simulate universal great ways to increase your Trailblaze level. Fuck. I just got caught blocked. <laughs> <laughs>